the button works. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hump Day. I mean, not safe for Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, same difference, right? That's that's what this stream is all about. All the uh, naughty, sexy, sexual stuffs. Uh, and today's topic just so happens to be quote unquote mommy porn. And we have with us our favorite, our wonderful Renelations. Hello. Now, Ren, you're the one who who you're the one who gave me the term mommy porn. Yes. Um, and, and as I understand it, it's basically erotica or is there like a difference? Uh, erotica, a lot of people will confuse, um, romance novels are, they can be sexy, but they have a plot that is interwoven into the story and isn't just rushed. Erotica is the books you read for straight sex scenes. And that's usually 90% of the book. Uh, with mm -hmm. usually very rushed, very silly, or very stupid, or infuriating plots that are an afterthought. <laughs> wait, wait, give me, give me, give me an example of, of, and that's basically what erotica is. It's just, it's the the sex with the afterthought plot. Yes. And that's not necessarily mommy porn, or is that, that more of the mommy porn? That is mommy porn. Those are the okay. books you're not reading for the plot. You can't, it's not like a Nora Roberts where you care about what's going to happen to the characters or there's character development and you want to know what's going to happen next. These are the mm. ones you read just for, you just want the sex scenes because you'll skip plot altogether because it's like an afterthought. Now, could, um, could the romance novels be considered mommy porn, though? Uh, some of them. Uh, some of them definitely could be considered mommy porn. I wouldn't class, like, um, like again, like most known, like Nora Roberts or uh, I'm blanking on, Daniel, Daniel Steele as uh, mommy porn because they are just, they can be just straight up romance novels and you... You don't even feel like the need to hide it on your Kindle because there's no there's no embarrassment with having that. But there's yeah. a lot of um, like the Fabio type stuff. That's the kind of stuff you don't necessarily read in, on the bus. That's okay. Better. <laughs> <clears throat> what's uh, what's the dumbest like, and I mean like the dumbest mommy porn plot? that you've ever read? Uh, let's see. Dumbest would have to be... It, the whole plot revolved around a millionaire, of course, who fell in love with a plus-size model to the point where within four hours of meeting him, she, he essentially had her in his house, forbade other men from even looking at her or touching her, and would get mad even if a gay man came near her. So Fifty Shades of Grey, just uh, Anastasia is, is thick. Yes. Fifty Shades of Fat Acceptance. Fifty Shades of Fat. Big Beautiful Women as their BBW as it's, uh, is its own subgenre. And it's always mm -hmm. thin millionaire falls head over heels for poor fat chick. And loves her for exactly who she is. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I'm a I'm a broke fat chick. So like having like a millionaire, I don't care if he's thin or not, but just having a millionaire be like, I, I fucking want you. I'm like, cool, buy my mama house. <laughs> but would you agree their terms? Uh, you'd, you'd never be able to talk to Zeller Brockus again in that scenario because even talking to a man makes that person too jealous. Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to even shake hands or do whatever because that's t contact with a man. That makes jealous. So it's a Middle Eastern relationship and it's like... <laughs> Oh, God. See, yeah, no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, I would want a millionaire to, to want me so he can buy my mom a house 
and then I can just still, because if, that's, that's one of my biggest problems with a lot of this shit, is, like, if, if somebody, and I mean, like, it doesn't matter the relationship, guy or girl, um, like, guy falling in love with girl, or girl falling in love with guy, or guy falling in love with guy, or girl falling in love with girl, any of that shit, um, if you really do love the person as they are, and you like, and you enjoy the person as they are, and, and all that shit, then, um, you're not going to stop them from being who they are. Oh, yeah. Well, like in that one for Dumbest, he fell in love with someone who was a plus-size model, who then basically impedes her career, because if she can't be dressed by, say, the person who's in charge of the photo shoot, or whatever, it, it, it does actually, in that hypothetical situation, impair her career. Yeah. Dude, I fucking love the confusion in the chat. Yeah. They're all like mommy porn. So it's like the mom and her stepson and blah blah blah. You joke, that's a subgenre. I'm I'm I I I'm just saying like that's the only uh genre that the boys watching seem to seem to be thinking this is. But what we're talking about specifically is uh girl porn tends to be the shit we read, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be in the romantic sense or just reading about the different sexy, sexy, like, f various types of fucking with uh, shitty, shitty plots, like a, a, a millionaire who wants a, a, plus, a size plus size model. Size model. <clears throat> or a guy who hires his, or tricks his newly stepsister, because of who his mom married, uh, into coming to his house for a million dollars as a live-in baby nurse, only to have his plan actually be to get her pregnant. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> it's a book. I'm not surprised. And and the, the here's the thing is, um, men, I want you all to realize, because I'm pretty sure most of the people in, in the audience right now are men, if not all of the people in our audience right now, um, women write this shit. Yeah. The main, yeah, the main authors of this kind of shit are women. Yeah, it's a mixture. Uh, the more fantasy stuff, well, you'll see some male authors in there, but it's like you're talking elves, dragons, were creatures of any kind, vampires, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Uh, th those are the ones that will be written by men. Like, the ones that are outright silly. Like, man falls in love with the iPhone. Th oh, yeah. that, that's more like what men will write. Women will write the stuff that's like... Um, well, there's one series called Daddy's Little Girl. Oh, now, God. Daddy's oh. Little Girl is about uh, stepdaughters and stepfathers... Some of which, uh, in the one I actually reviewed, the girl was raised by the stepfather, who fall in love and uh, decide to have sex. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, I'm not surprised. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever read any of the, um, like... Because uh, cause I want to know where this would sit. Uh, have you ever read uh, Sherilyn Kenyon or Laurel K. Hamilton? Sherilyn sounds familiar. She wrote The Dark Hunters and Dream Hunters. Oh, yeah, I've read her. Mm -hmm. Now, would would you say her books fall um, within mommy porn territory? Almost. Uh, she's much like um, Lindsay Sands as authors where they are mid-range. They're not quite mommy porn, but they're not quite romance novel. They're just like on the edge of there's enough plot that matters and it's not just, you know, afterthought. Mm -hmm. But the main purpose of the, like a lot of sex scenes are a big thing in the book. You know, yeah, same with yeah. middle ground book. They're middle ground. Yeah, like Laurel K. Hamilton, her uh, specifically her Anita Blake series, mostly because I have not read the um, Mary Gentry, uh, which I hear is kinktastic and delicious. Mm -hmm. But um, 
the the Anita Blake series that Laurel K. Hamilton does, sex is actually like a plot device. Yeah, and that, that means it's worked into the plot, which puts it more in the mommy porn territory without being there. Yeah. And then um, we were talking earlier pre-stream about, about the Anne Rice uh, fuck, Sleeping Beauty. Yes. I mean, it's got... It, it does have an interesting story, but at the same time, uh, it revolves around sex. Yeah. You'll find a lot of, like, there's... There's different degrees of what of mommy porn. There's some that it is sexy, but you, you could still have that book in public and no one's going to go, oh my God, what are you reading? Like a Fabio thing, a Fabio cover book where people are going to go, why are you reading that in public? Yeah, that, or they'll just be like, oh, we know exactly what you're reading. Yeah. yeah. Those are the, the ones that are like almost not, like have like, shades of mommy porn, forgive the pun. Mm. Uh, those are the ones that they do. They are more romance centered, and they do have plots that are thought out. That's what separates them from the straight up erotica section. Okay, now here's I know I know Harlequin uh, novels. That's the like the big publisher. That's when you fucking know. Yeah. Like yeah, but here's here's a really good question. Um, most because I rage about this thing constantly. Where would Fifty Shades of Grey fall? It's mommy porn, but it's crap. Okay, fair enough. I, I'll, I'll count. I'll, it's pathetic mommy porn. Yes, it, it, it's it's very basic mommy porn. There's <laughs> not a lot to it, and it's a lot of the stuff in it that's cringe. It, uh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's always nice to talk with a female who has a brain. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let me see. Uh, what is your like your the the your least favorite mommy porn ever? Like, give me the story as best as you can, and then the the uh, inverse of that where your favorite was. Uh, see my. Favorite, I'd have to find the book series again. Uh, but the whole plot of my favorite um, series was it was a bunch of um, essentially military contractors. And it's the story of how they all find their partners and fall in love. And it does have a bit of like suspense, like spy thriller ish to it. But there's this overarching storyline that continues from the first book to the most recent one that was put out. So there's a, this overarching storyline of like, quote unquote, bad guys they have to fight, and you know, and it felt like the characters were written to be a little more relatable because they you know, there was like there's some hardworking women who work in the same field. They're not treated differently, but they do different jobs, and it works out well. Plus, you actually feel camaraderie between the main team. My least favorite of all time has to be Fifty Shades of Bronies. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Shades. Fifty Shades of Bronies? Yeah. Fifty Shades of Bronies? Fifty Shades of Name? Take the Fifty Shades of Grey plot. Make Christian Grey a brony. <laughs> And Anastasia feels stupider. That's not possible to make her stupider. Wow. I will. You'd think, it, was, you'd think it would be possible to make that character stupider, but they did. That's fucking funny. And, uh, and to answer chat, I, one, day, one night, I drank too much rum. And I decided <laughs> I wanted to do 50 Shades in 50 Days. So I read... 47 different Fifty Shades of Grey parodies and then capped it with the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. And now some of these parodies, I'll give you, they, they fix things. Um, Fifty Shades of Pink is about, uh, uh, it's instead of Christian Grey, it's a chick who's the CEO. Mm -hmm. And um, 
the whole arc of the story, like they fix the computer thing, like the guy had a computer, she just gave him one anyway. They fix a bunch of little plot holes. And then it ends with the female Christian Grey deciding to submit to the guy, Anastasia Steele, and then having a relationship. But I will say the funniest torture was she made him watch Twilight. <laughs> so oh it, it it had humor throughout it, and you could tell it was just someone taking, a, you know, having fun with the stupid plot. Um, others were craptastic. The only best winner I found was one called Fifty Shades of Stupid, which was written by a guy who was sick of Fifty Shades of Grey, and he made a well over 40 page book detailing every reason that Fifty Shades of Grey is stupid. I, who is this guy and um, where can I find this book? Uh, I'll see if I can look up food. I know it's on Amazon. I find half the stuff I find. <laughs> in in Mommy, I don't even know if it's Mommy Porn because I've never read a Mommy Porn book. The sexiest book I've ever read. And, written, uh, uh, read? Oh my god, I can't speak as a Warhammer book, but okay. But I do have. I'm very curious about author Chuck Tingle and his stunning title, such as Pounded in the Butt by My Own Butt. <laughs> oh, there's uh, books out there called, like, Oh My God, I'm a Bimbo. Now I'm a Bimbo. I mean, things like that. Uh, President, so President Donald Loch Ness Trump pounds American butt. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I need to find some of these books. Hi, Unicorn. Jacob. <laughs> Chuck Unicorn Tinklers. Okay. Gate <laughs> T-Rex Law Firm Executive Boner. That's perfect. These are perfect books. Uh, <laughs> I, I might as well be. I did pawn as many of those bu those books onto some as, to other people as I could. Including the Fifty Shades of Grey with Zombies as the main plot. Oh, God. Uh, wait. No. Go on. The whole plot is, um, in order to stop becoming a zombie, they took a whole bunch of, um, essentially Cialis type medication. And so now they fight, the, in that book, they fight zombies with rock, with hard ons. <laughs> okay. So it's rigor mortis is set in for these zombies. It, rigor mortis uh, for these people who are fighting zombies with their dicks. Yeah. <laughs> that one and a couple others I pawned off on other people like, I'm not reading it. You are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't I can't uh ah uh, 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 I need to find some of these. I'm yeah. gonna okay side chat is the uh, fifty shades of stupid. The guide to the stupidest book ever. And it, it it's the only good version I ever liked. Let me share the best title I could find in a romance book. Donald Trump pounded in the butt by the handsome Russian T-Rex who also peed on his butt and then blackmailed him with the videos of his butt bag getting peed on. Yep. If, if I'm not intrigued, I don't know what I am. <laughs> uh, there's lots of Donald Trump. Uh, there's one where I have to, I have to look up the title again. Uh, it was, the whole plot was Hillary Clinton sleeps with Trump to get back at Bill. Okay. Hey, political ones are a dime a dozen. Like the second there's a someone there's a presidential run, you will find God knows how many about the candidates because people find it funny to write it. Jeremy was never quite sure about his feeling for Oliver, his gay pet dinosaur, until Oliver scores big and leaves home to pursue his dreams of being a dancer. Years later, the two of them reconnect for dinner in New York City and realize that there may be more between their relationship besides prehistoric pet and master. Yep. Uh, there's also my uh, my uh, rap raptor boss made me gay. I fucking love these. I oh my god, <laughs> Chuck. Uh, take, uh, taken by the T Rex. <laughs> which is the woman who sleeps with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, not a talking one, just actual giant T-Rex woman sleeps with. Uh, Living corn, James Corny fired in the butt. What the fuck? <laughs> Creamed in the butt by my handsome living corn. Oh my God. Yep. Th th those are all actual titles. <laughs> oh my fucking God. <laughs> 
<laughs> These are great. I, I would... I, I hate to... No, I don't hate to say it, but I would totally read these. Chuck <laughs> Tingle, American Hero. I love you. Read... read. I'm gonna... Everyone, support this brilliant person. Oh my... Oh. It oh just... My it, Chuck... Chuck... Chuck Tingle. Yes? Yes. Chuck Tingle. Okay. Oh, All right, so getting into the fantasy characters like ravaged by an orc. Oh yeah, that's that's uh, what, what the fuck is his name? Hunter, Hunter something. That was ravaged by an orc is written by a Lily Hazel. Oh, uh, yeah. oh there's also Hunter Fox. A, yeah, he he makes a lot of space raps about invasion. A billionaire dinosaur forced me gay. An orc forced me gay. Alien yeah. dark turned me gay. Uh oh. <laughs> Chosen by the orc. Gay <laughs> centaur punished my butt. A centaur punished my butt. <laughs> oh, of course. My, one of my favorite for titles. Full bodied orc gasm. Oh my god. <laughs> this is I just mean... getting better and better. <laughs> 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 Brock is <just> triggered. <laughs> right? Brock is just sitting in the chat like, no! <laughs> this is 4,000 word hardcore gay monster short story. 18 plus. Rape by a Okay. See, for me, like, one of the things that, that I used to love reading were fan fictions. Because some of those are fucking crazy too. Oh, fan fictions! Uh, fan fictions are mommy porn, but with bad grammar. Dude, oh, oh, one of the best, and I don't know if you've ever covered, but you need to read some of this guy's works. It, he, uh, his name is Comics Nix, or mm -hmm. Comic Nix. Uh, he does. He did an Optimus Prime and Princess Leia. Ah, it's beautiful. Oh, what the adventures of R two P two up. Inside Optimus Prime's asshole. Yes. Why there's pictures of everyone who's been there? Yeah. Soft pinky pillows of pure petunia's cotton. <laughs> that's that's a line. That is a fucking line from that, and I love using it. It disturbs so many people, and it pisses off. It pisses off a lot of people too. And then uh, I have you have you gone into because um. I read his Jean Grey and Wolverine, like, love story thing, fan fiction, whatever thing that was, too. And that one is just as horrendous. And there's a, there's, there's a part where they go into, like, this shack or something like that. Jean Grey and Wolverine mm -hmm. go into the shack for some reason. And there's, like, chicken in the fridge. And, like, Jean Grey is giving Wolverine a blowjob. And he's, like eating the chicken from the fridge, and he's like, hmm, this is good chicken, as he's getting a blowjob <laughs> from Jean Grey. Of course he is. <laughs> uh, so for funniest I've ever come across for a series, uh, I have to look at the title for this one, because this is definitely worth it. It's just a good laugh. The whole plot is um, Santa's reindeer are were deer, so they transform from reindeer to, reindeer to men. And each of them fall in love. Uh, the first book is a tad infuriating because it's um, the series is called Buck Me. Buck Me? Buck Me. And it's holiday themed. So, of course um, it is. So there's Buck Me for uh, Christmas, Buck Me for Halloween. Buck me for Valentine's Day. There's even a buck me for Fourth of July. And New Year's. And St. Patty's Day. And, like, uh, it's funny. Because it's like, so, oh, your holiday themed, your eroticas. <laughs> is it all is it all about the reindeer? Just purely the reindeer? The reindeer falling in love with uh, big, beautiful women. But they're were reindeer, so they're not reindeer. They turn into men. But at Christmas, they turn into reindeer. Yeah. Well, they change it where Santa is actually a shipping mogul, and so it's he only delivers presents on Christmas, but all the rest of the year he's uh, import export. 
to make up for why St. Nick has money to throw toys. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> I didn't either when I found it. It's like, dear God, you're holiday themed. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to feel about this. Oh my God. Comics Next did a, a Scooby-Doo and the Trip of Lust. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. You'll find a lot of stuff they themed off the characters because uh, Rule 34. Bella <laughs> <laughs> uh, Swan, Pregnant and Various. What? Bat Batman and Robocop. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, if you look up slash bits for Star Trek, you'll find some very interesting ones. See me, I love, I love, I like, if I, if I had a favorite fan fiction writer, it would be Comic Snicks. Mm -hmm. Because he writes some of, and, and he's, he's not serious. None of this is serious. But it's still... It's still like let's see the the beginning of Batman and RoboCop. Bruce Wayne was paying a visit to Detroit City. Wait, what? Because a cousin of him was very sick, so Bruce Wayne went with his chauff chauffeur there, but was very cautious because he took his bat suit with him. When the chauffeur arrived with the limo, Bruce got out of his car and entered Cousin Oliver's building. It was a very tall and dark place full of gargoyles and lighted torches all over the wall. As Bruce went up the stairs, he noted the handrail was full of strange white sticky goo. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's hair gel, he thought. The stairs creak very much and looks like the place is going to fall apart. <laughs> Then Bruce Wayne found Cousin Oliver room on the last floor of the building, but something was strange. The door was open and incense stench was flowing out of the room. Bruce ran inside the fast he could with the heart throbbing in fear of something bad. And it was. Cousin Oliver was naked, on four on the ground, his half ass filled with cheap <laughs> trash. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 Bruce went, and then went to the other side and saw Oliver's eyes bulging and bleeding and something strange scared on his forehead. There was this circle with a flower upside down. Damn, those bastards killed Oliver. I must go to the cops. Oh, God, they fucked him to death. <laughs> yes, yes, with, they did. Oh, with no. incense. With incense. Oh, my <laughs> God. Fucked <laughs> oh my god, it just keeps getting better. <laughs> uh, poor Brock is just gonna be having nightmares after this. <laughs> it's still like uh, the <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna send you a link to this so you can go ahead and just you can just enjoy all of Comics Nix's glory because just yeah. just feel free to pick and choose as as you so please, desire. Please please share. Um, I am intrigued. Yeah, I think I think Brock is almost as uh, uh, triggered as Igor was when I read uh, Wesley Crusher Teenage Fuck Machine. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Poor anyway. Cousin Oliver. Poor Cousin Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck to death with incense. <laughs> and then, and there's a flower carved into the guy's forehead. Like, really? What is, what is this? Bleeding. Ass full of common incense. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a horrible way to go! I know, right? That sting? Right. 
My immortal, that is all. My immortal? What, oh, what's God. that? Oh, God, oh. my immortal. Uh, when I first started doing fanfic reviews... Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's the Harry a Potter lovely ship. Per yes, that's a Harry Potter vampire... Guns. Yeah, it, oh, it was bad. It, the whole plot is it's this chick who wants to be like Eva, the, uh, the lead singer of Evanescence, who's in the Harry Potter school... Who's also a vampire who's fucking Malfoy, but she has a crush on Harry Potter. It's it's messed up. Yeah, it's it's fun as fuck. It, it's fun, but it is um, a messed up fucking story. Yeah. Dude, I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh my. Go on. No, no, no. Let's let's hear this. Go on. <laughs> okay. Find a snippet of my model. It's fucking. Oh, I can find you a snippet. I don't know if I want to like it. Ah, uh, yes. I I saw it on YouTube because someone read it aloud. All of it because it's. There was. There was this one fan fiction that um. I read. It was actually really well written, but it was the stupidest thing ever. And it was how Legolas and Frodo had um had sex, and they used the oh. light of Elendril for lube, and so Frodo's ass was glowing. That's beautiful, though. Uh, uh, I know, right? <laughs> that's fucking beautiful. You can do that with a black light already. Like, yeah, okay. All right. Here is. Uh, I'm obviously not going to read all of my immortal because. My Immortal Hi. is um, 24 or 44 chapters long. <laughs> this is how it opens, so you can figure out just the mess that this thing is. Hi, my name is Ebony Denarcus Dementia Ravenway, and I have long ebony hair. That's how I got my name, with purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid back and icy blue eyes that, like, limpid tears and a lot of people tell me i look like amy lee and if you don't know who she is get the hell out of here i'm not related to gerard way i wish because i would i wish i was because he's a major fucking hottie i'm a vampire but my teeth are straight and white i have pale white skin i'm also a witch i go to a magic school called hogwarts in england where i'm in the seventh year i'm 17. I'm goth, in case you can't tell, and I wear mostly black, and I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes from there. Uh, my brain hurts. Yes. There are 44 chapters of that. Uh... Oh my god, Thanel found the Wolverine chicken scene on Twitter. <laughs> No, no, you have to read it. You, no, no, Darnell, Darnell, you have to read the. I need a. It's it's one of the. I I linked you guys in in the in the hangout chat, so you guys can go ahead and go through the comics next stuff, but it's his Wolverine and Jean Grey story, and there's a little surprise cameo at one point by Cyclops, by Cyclops, and um, it's. It was, my brain still hurts, and I'm just, I can't stop. I'm trying not to laugh out loud thinking about it. Lo-fi, don't waste fries by throwing them at Antoine. Yeah, he's afraid of them. Oh, he's afraid of potatoes. Yeah, and zombies. Mix them. Potatoes, yes, zombie potatoes. <laughs> Sorry, we're digressing so much right now. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I I can't see what you shared the in the hangout thing. Uh, no, there's nothing. Just hold read on. it. Just rents. Amazon okay, for Fifty on. Shades of Stupid. Fifty Shades of Stupid <laughs> is actually good. It's just every reason yeah, Fifty Shades of Grey is bad. It sounds fun. I would. Oh, it is. <laughs> Brock is. Let's not kill the fanfic because then we would have to kill you on self fanfic, and that's beautiful. 
Oh, come yes. on, Rocket. There's a lovely fanfic of you and Zell all talking yeah. about how much you love each other. And your orc obelisk of power. <laughs> oh, God. And your grunts <laughs> when you finish. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rick. Rick Rockus took out his orc dick and. That's not moving. I think my chat moves. <sighs> there. There, there I twittered. I twittered DM y'all. Here's what, here's what Trivia Poop put. puts. Brockus took out his orc dick and slid it across Antoine's face. <laughs> Ooh, Antoine exclaimed, feeling it, uh, feeling so rough yet gentle, he said. It feels so rough. Trivia Poop, I think you need to write one. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Do it, Trivia, and draw it. I know you can draw. <laughs> I agree, Bitching Witch, growling is better, but but this is Brockus that was written about, so he all he knows how to do is just grunt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Antoine doesn't want it written, so therefore it must be written. It has what to does... be trippy. You have seen the chat. Do what we say. Do it. Listen to the voices on the live stream. Write the fanfic. Antoine tries to suck Just... it. He quickly finds out that the optic is too wide. He forces it in, stretching Antoine's cheek to the point of pain. It hurt so good, he thought to himself. <laughs> Oh, Mr. LM002, I do enjoy the sound of purring. Yes. <sighs> ah, yes. Uh, uh, uh. Trippy, make sure you put this in a document and send it to me. It can be turned into a fanfic Friday. Dude, and can you have me somewhere in the back background eating popcorn and, like, cheering them on? Yes. Um, yeah. Like me, Ren, and Lo-Fi are all in the background <laughs> like, yeah, take it! You can take it like a man, Antoine! Yeah. <laughs> Suck that orc dick! <laughs> Down at you, Downy! <laughs> Down at you, Downy! <laughs> Hold on, wait. New hashtag. Why, Antoine? <laughs> because it's funny. <laughs> it is funny. Why not? That's what I ask. Mommy porn, yes. So, Mr. LM002, mommy porn is... Uh, Ren, would you like to explain since you are our mommy porn expert? <laughs> <laughs> mommy porn is the trashy, trashy books that are basically giant sex scenes with haphazard plots thrown in that, unless the plot is particularly ridiculous, no woman could tell you the actual plot of the book she read. They'll describe the sex scenes. No, not faux incest, Matthew. Not, mm -hmm. not faux incest. It is. is. Some of them are full on if they if you're into that. Yes. <clears throat> I'm sure you can find it. Um, no, oddly enough, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey is not, uh, I don't consider it erotica, I consider it shit. Yeah, it is shit. Yeah. Yep. It's fucking bad. Well, it, it does technically fall under the title because it is on basically unknown for the sex scenes, and none of us really give a shit about the plot, uh, but even the sex scenes are shit, so it's just really basic, basic, boring mommy porn. It's it's the worst it's the worst excuse. It's the worst example of mommy porn anybody could use. Because like mommy porn is one of those things where, you know, like if other people know what you like, if they see the cover and they're just like, Ooh, yeah, ooh I what know are what you're reading. reading. And then with, with Fifty Shades of Grey, um, it's if I see somebody reading Fifty Shades of Grey, I'll be like, Hold on, wait, I can get you something better. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. I see. Um, oh, look, here's, here's uh, the Anita Blake series by Laurel K. Hamilton. There's some sexy stuff with actual good story, and it's not abusive. Oh, what do you know? Huh? 
Although, uh, oh god, some of the some of the mommy porn you were explaining to us earlier, Ren. Oh, you mm. mean the mommy porn that involves a? There's lots of ones. Uh, here's a title, and you can guess how bad it is. Daddy Shifter's Virgin. Daddy, wait, what? Oh my. Yeah, could re repeat that. Daddy Shifters Virgin. And that's the that's just the title. That's just the title. Um Wait, what? <laughs> hey. Uh here's the description. Clark thought the shady new shifters in town were his biggest problem. That is, until Carmen arrived. Sexy, sweet, and charming. She's everything Clark could ever want in a woman. There's just one problem. She's his 20-year-old daughter's best friend. And she's a virgin. <sighs> oh, okay. I'm, oh, I'm reading comic books. Uh, <laughs> Half-Life. Half-Life. Fanfic. Yes. Oh no. Bitchy week. Yes, I. Um. Well, I love some mommy porn. In all honesty, I. I'm. I'm totally down with some mommy porn. Uh, I'm one of those. Uh, who. I really want a good plot and a good story involved. So like most mommy porn just flies over my head, and I can't do the romance novel shit either because it shit like bores the ever loving fuck out of me. But fan fiction, fan fiction, fan fiction. Dear God, I love fan fiction because it's so bad most of the time. And a lot of it has uh, mommy porn. Uh, fan Mom fiction is mommy porn that isn't good enough to be sold on the Kindle store. Touche. Yeah. Okay. And one can sell it. Store that is fucking published. impressive that you can write something so bad you can sell it there when you can have my butt fuck, fucked in the butt by my own butt. Well, like, the, the, there's rules on uh, Amazon for what they'll allow to be sold. Like, the reason you'll see a lot of step sibling or stepdaddy and stepdaughter uh, eroticas is because they can't write straight up incest ones and sell it there. So they have to put the word step there in order to. Sell it. Mm -hmm. But you could tell um, the intent was incest. Yeah. Um, Matthew. Uh, yeah, it, the, 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 I can't call those BDSM injuries after Fifty Shades of Grey came out. I just call that stupid people being stupid because Fifty Shades of Grey was not about BDSM. No, it was a oh, recent relationship. Um, yes. Uh, until this moment that his anus was self-lubricating. He grabs himself <laughs> in wide, three inch long. Wow. Or <laughs> himself with a stretching of the of his anus life. Beautiful. <laughs> Trey, because 12 inch wide, three inch long. Wow, that's <laughs> 12 inch long. Uh, uh, that's very that's, that's, that's a, a very kind way. yeah, that's very kind of you to say Brock is no, it's both inch a wide. Dick. The wide, that long. <laughs> yeah, it's three inches long and twelve inches wide. That's why it hurts his cheek. <laughs> and Kirby, please tell me you're putting this in a Google document to send to me later. <laughs> please, please, Trippy Poo. <laughs> like a stack of flapjacks. Yes, Mr. LM. <laughs> Oh, oh God, this is getting better. Trippy, please keep writing. Uh, Don't stop, Trippy. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Keep going. More, more. <laughs> Give us more. <laughs> You're keeping this show afloat for the next 15 minutes, Trippy. Yes, you are, because we're going to keep wanting to read your stuff. Oh, and uh, Antoine hates him right now. <laughs> I hate this you say that every time someone does anything porn against you. Did you hate? Did you hate my fan fiction too? Is that why you recorded the lines for it? Oh. 
I think I did a very good job at capturing your British essence. No, I think you liked it because it wasn't Brockus, it was Schmeckel. This is true. It was Schmeckel. Yeah. So he got a little uh, hot and bothered. It wasn't orc dick, it was monkey penis. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We have an emotional connection, Brockus. Antoine says. <laughs> <laughs> we have an emotional connection, Brockus. Antoine. And uh, <laughs> unknown archive. It's not that everyone wants to do their step siblings. Um. Sometimes what happens is because of the rules of what you can self-publish, say, on Kindle, and that's what's given a rise to a lot more mommy porn because, well, Kindles and, you know, me help self-publish. Um, they can't do certain things. So if it, let's say they wrote a rape fantasy, suddenly it becomes about tentacles because, yeah, or it, it becomes step siblings. And you can tell where the plot originally was but they had to tweak it in order to make money off of it. <clears throat> uh. <Wow. laughs> no, no, no. I, I, did, I, did I put the tentacles in um, the Antoine Schmeckel one I that did, I'd written? I don't know if there was tentacles. I don't think there was tentacles in that one. Yeah, I don't think I put the tentacles in that one. Trippy poop. Antoine um, pops out with a bunch of tentacles and decides to pay Brockus back in kind for his flapjack orc obelisk Trip, power. Trippy ripple. As the sweat drips from Brockus falls, Antoine says, 369, baby, fine. Why don't you stick it in me one more time? No, 369, <laughs> damn girl, fine. Uh, oh. Why don't you stick it to me one more time? Get low. Get low, get low, get low, get low, get low. Oh my god. Damn orc, fine. I Damn orc fine. Yes. Orc fine. One more time. Oh, that should be a hashtag. Hashtag. Damn orc, orc fine. fine. Yes. <laughs> it's good trip. Continue. Yes, keep going. We're enjoying this. <laughs> I can find a way to get you. I know. I have. I have a site that I use for self publishing. And I can I can link you to the site once you're finished writing this, because this is fucking gold. I'm just letting you know this is gold. This is pure gold. You get some millions. On, you can sell it on, <laughs> you can sell you can sell it on Kindle. <laughs> you could sell it on Amazon. Yes. If Chuck Tingle can sell this, so can you. Believe in oh, yourself. No, no, no. We can make a compilation book. <gasps> yes, all the fan fictions, all the different like YouTuber fan fictions out there. Oh my god. I can we just take you the two you well. wrote? We take the two you wrote, trippy pooped, and then maybe get one or two others and then make it into a book. <laughs> no, I there was one fun. there was one that AP was reading on the Beardy oh. stream that, that failure was running. Mm -hmm. Um and it was JF and Sargon. Oh, oh god. wow. No. <laughs> and and yes. Mr. LM002, I actually used to write erotica. Well, it was Mr. You LM. Have built a beat, my friend. Mr. LM, will you write erotica of like, uh, or, or fan fiction? Just write some fan fiction um, that Ren can read about like me and Lo Fi and Ren. Oh, I have an even better one. Let's have a little contest. Who can write the best fanfic of Antoine and Brockus? Trippy poop. He already won. I don't care. As oh. Dunn eats her popcorn, she says, Antoine, you gotta work, work to shaft. There's not much shaft to work, Trippy. It's pretty interesting. No, no, no. Trippy, I, I would have said, um, Antoine, relax the throat and swallow like a good girl as Antoine begins to gag on Ar Brockus's flapjack dick. <laughs> Red, you're cruel. It's perfect. Well, the competition is here, and <laughs> you stated now, everyone, join in, right, and Antoine Brockus. Let's get this a series. How many different fanfics of the two of them can we get? 
<laughs> Ooh, and you get bonus points if you add other characters into it. Not necessarily joining in on the fun. Just watching. Yes, just we can like just watching, and if we can uh, just just write it out and have them like pop in a couple of lines, a couple of quips here and there. Um, you, you have to capture the personality of the people watching. Oh God! Yes. Still breaking in and getting jealous. Yeah. Yes. No, baby, no. That'll be Zell. That'll be Zell's one line. He pops in and he's like, <laughs> "Nobody, no," and then he crumbles into the fetal position as he curls up in a little ball in the corner, his eye, his bright blue eyes pouring tears. As he slowly uh, to himself whispers, niggers, God damn niggers. <laughs> Oh, Turtle, I, Turtle has an even better line. Smoke this pancake, he said with a, with a coy smile. <laughs> you know what, Mr. LM002? Uh, if your erotica is more classy, we're okay with classy erotica too like yes. it doesn't it doesn't necessarily have to be humorous but if you can make some like fan fiction erotica about i really okay i really want to see some like erotica with like me and lo and ren and uh <laughs> and outlaw ishtar. and ishtar of course ishtar and thorn and like pretty much all the females like and then choose a guy, any guy, it doesn't matter, and you can throw him into the mix. And uh, just remember. Just, yeah, Samaj! Oh, yeah, just a set Samaj fan. I'm trying to get on tongue talking each other, knowing he will never know another's touch. Wow. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh. That was beautiful. That's really sad. I <laughs> I'm sold. As Kadunt eats her popcorn in the chair, she watches Brock is strap into Antoine, uh, strap into Antoine into the wall, making an X. As he puts a collar on Tazel, as he slowly kisses his neck and strokes his staff, as he puts his plus, I'm, I'm guessing he's gonna add more. Yes. Antoine is excited to take his first <laughs> uncircumcised orc dick. He thinks to himself, "I hope Sol doesn't catch us." As the 12 inch wide orc dick enters Antoine's anus, he right, realizes <laughs> it may not fit. Okay, That's when he realized. Malevolent Rider, Mr. LM002, uh, and uh, Trippy, you definitely need to write these in separate documents, too. Antoine yes, does, please. Antoine doesn't mind some ripping. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, but please, yes, send them to, to Ren. Once you're finished reading them, send them to Ren. And, um,. I'll figure out how how to record my lines. I don't know how I'm, I can do that. Somebody mm -hmm. sh I'm sure can help me uh, figure out how to record lines, whatever lines I have to record for you, and I'll do it. And uh, his hand on his back, gliding his long dong in his ass and thrust slowly into as Antoine blushes hard. Um, <laughs> Ryder, it's very kind of you to say that that it's long. That's very nice of you. Yes. <laughs> Poor Brock is in it's chat. A little, I gotta say, with all the length, it's getting a re really unrealistic. <laughs> oh, oh, no, you know what? Mr. <laughs> Mr. LF002, uh, along with Samaj, you can have, um, you can have Brockus sitting there in the corner reading his own fan fiction, being like, this will be close enough, it's okay, Samaj, I feel your pain. Malevolent <laughs> <laughs> is going with what you're doing. I can do a whole book. Do uh, Antoine, Brockus, and Zell. There you go. You realize yes. I have to kill you now, this cannot come to pass. Well, uh, Brockus is gonna kill Antoine now. Oh, Trippy Poop, you're doing a great job. Do not, do not no. doubt yourself. It's really good, Trippy. <laughs> oh, his problem is he's the bottom. Because orc, orcs are bigger and stronger. <laughs> but, okay, okay, Trippy, you need to make it. Because I made it so that um, Antoine started at the top and then got flipped around to the bottom. You can do that. It is possible that Antoine's just like, no, this isn't enough for me. Now I need to insert, you know, my, my cyberspace tentacles into every orcifice. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it to your overground goblin saga. <laughs> Hello, Billy Senpai. Hello. 
We are currently watching the torture of uh, Antoine and uh, and Brockus in chat. Antoine says it's all about the ripping and tearing, Brocky baby. The ripping and tearing. <laughs> Brocky baby. That's a beautiful fucking name. Yes! Oh my god, Mr. LM02. I, I adore you. I adore you right oh now. Oh my god. Nah, Samaj and Brockus will just have a two person circle jerking each other while looking at each other's tear stained faces. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate <laughs> Bruni. Brockus looks over and sees Andy Worski walk in wearing a fur coat, a pink flamingo scarf, and carrying a small dog with the overwhelming smell of lotion on his skin and asks Brockus, Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Ding. 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 Brockus, what did you think was going to happen when you got me lo fi and Kadunt alone? <laughs> Torturing you becomes a group effort. Oh, it's not, it's not an effort at all. It's easy. We're having the chat do it for us. This isn't the point. We're just talking and letting chat do it we for us. We don't hate you, help. We don't help hate you, Antoine. We want you to feel love inside <laughs> you. All love. Where's my bleach? <laughs> oh, we adore you. We adore you. That's why you're you're always one of the stars of of our of our ships. Because we want you to be bent over and expanded upon. No, oh. Brockton. Bro Brocky, baby. Oh, Brocky doing... baby. Brocky Malala, baby. you were doing such a great job. Not this anymore. This Blair White wearing a skin suit. Who? Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay. That's a plot twist. That is ex that's a great plot twist. You have to work that in. That's beautiful. As Brock is as Antoine made love loudly and with lots of ass blood, Samaj finds the scene heartwarming. He has never seen so much love on display. <laughs> oh my god, yes! <laughs> he decided to draw it. Yes! It would be the next cut stream art. Yes! Oh my god, I would love to have this be our thumbnail. <laughs> oh my god, Antoine getting rammed in the ass by Brock while Samaj watches. <laughs> 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 no, Sabash has that that one tear in his eye as he's holding a hand over his heart, like oh, he has oh to my look god, like... it's so so romantic. That or he has to look like uh, the old Indian commercial where the Native American is looking at the land left behind getting destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Brockus asks him what the fuck he's doing here, and he tells him that he's looking for Chris. He got out of the well in the basement while Andy was out getting coffee. Andy Turtle Wurski. Island. Andy yeah. Wurski has seldom seen this site before. He whips out his ticket smartphone, Snapchatting the orcish love pain while milking himself of his Worski juices. <laughs> oh my God. Blood, otherwise known as Satan's lube. <laughs> <laughs> We made got the entire chat writings fan <laughs> yeah. Bro Brock is that tells Andy that someone who looks like Jim went in the basement and then ran out of there. Widow. With a. I'm guessing an Asian man. We're glad your day got better, said by Billy. Said by Billy. <laughs> Billy <laughs> said by. This dream will never go away from existence. With a certain Asian, and then they ran way the fuck out of there. <laughs> you just you just wait you just wait and watch one of these i'm gonna oh, i know the next fucking fanfic i'm gonna write what's that jeff holiday and zell <gasps> yes <laughs> oh, God, yes. <laughs> can hey, somebody dirty homeless I'll... man you all want us an apology so i'll take it out of you <laughs> Worski says, I need some creamer for my 64 gigs of coffee. <laughs> oh my god. That's the one of the first times Cell might be the top, the man in the fanfic and not the bottom. 
Oh God. Uh, if I, no, if I write it, he's gonna, it's gonna be a verse. It's gonna be the switch. They'll both switch over trying to fuck each other. I'm gonna write my own version of that. As okay, well. you, you write your version because I've already written two and I think Red needs a new author. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I get one more from you, one from Lo-Fi, one from at this point of who started this whole thing, Trippy Poop. After one and a half second, Brock has decided it's time to pull out and switch holes. He uses his orc magic to make Anton's grow a beautiful super hairy vagina. For some reason, it also conjures Megal. Oh my god, yes! Hey, Zell! Hi, Zell! Zell grabs, Zell grabs hair Jeff's screen. hair. Say it! Say it! I want you to say it! Say, say, it. My, say name. my name! Oh, he's fat man now! Aww. Say it. Zell got in late. Zell has no clue what's going on. So, um, suddenly, suddenly, Andy's girlfriend comes in wearing a strap on and carrying a baseball bat. Come here, Andy. It's time for me to show me how much I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Zell, Zell. You're also, well, currently now, Trippy Poop's writing a fanfic of Antoine and, uh, and Brockus, with you walking in later. Uh, and then we have Kadan, who's going to write one of you and Jeff Holiday. Oh, no, Lo-Fi's going to write that one. Lo-Fi's going to write that one, okay. I'll write, I'll, 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 I'll think of something else to write, but I, now, the, now the idea, the seed has been planted, just like it looks as a, though uh, Brockus' seed is about to be planted all up inside of Antoine. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd Toko? Is he still there? He left. He probably he left. What the fuck? The fuck's going? Oh no! Yeah, he he would leave. I I reckon he's he's dead. <laughs> he's just like nope, nope. I'm done. Oh, it says he's still there. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm oh. driving, but I'm listening, so I can't go. This shit's crazy. Another fanfic. I'm so down. Perfect. Yes, Zell's so good with these. He's he's such yes. a good boy. Oh, Zell, did you ever send Lo-Fi the picture of your butt? Oh yeah. What about that? I haven't been. <laughs> I sent you so many pictures. See, mm -hmm. it's, see, Antoine, Antoine, Zell's okay with this. He doesn't fight it. That's because you know. Zell is a good boy. Yes, yeah. Antoine's in denial. Yeah, Antoine Brock doesn't is, know what he wants. Brock is just comments, but we know he secretly loves it. Smeggle screams and runs toward the door yelling, What a dumb cunt! Unfortunately, he slips in booty blood and lands heads first in Smash bear crutch. <laughs> oh my god, yes! Samaj and Smeggle! Oh, monkey okay. on monkey action. <laughs> Auntie looks over at Sinead, seeing what's in store, and tells her, Fuck no! I was supposed to meet up with Tonka for a two-man three-way with Brittany Venti. <laughs> Normal fanfics are less, less fun. It's not as fun. I mean, it's really not. It's... <gasps> yes, bitching witch, you, need, uh, you either need fanfic with you and Beardy, or you and um, unknown archive, and I need fan. I need somebody to write a fanfic about me and AP. I'm gonna get like a shit ton of uh, fanfics of my DMs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Brittany Venti? Oh, uh, some dumb. She was a Twitch streamer who's now on YouTube and has had some issues with Twitch. It's so fucking annoying. That's right, Brock. It's just accept the inevitability. It will happen. See, Brock has accept he's entered the state of acceptance now. He's had denial, yeah. rage, mm -hmm. all the others. Once Andy gets to the Kumite, he sees that Tonka already started in on Venti, and then sees failure sulky in the background, saying to himself, that was supposed to be me, as he reaches... <clears throat> Smeggle realizes that Simash ape cock tastes just like Betty White's pussy. He grins and goes in for hot ape lunch. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting better. Have this written down in a document so I don't have to play look and chat for this. 
<laughs> oh, there we go. Um, as he reaches into the bucket looking for more tendies, disappointment coming over his face once he realizes he's out of spicy Popeye's tendies. Jeff Holiday, in his best Emperor Palpatine voice, says, Do it! As Sal stands above him, stroking furiously, his balls about to burst. <laughs> Mal uh, malevolent writer. The reason why Betty White? Because Schmeckel loves Betty White. Yes. See, if I had to get a fanfic of me, I would want one where I picked so in the ass. Because he owes yes. me one stuff. So. He does. <laughs> Maybe you can join in on, on the one trippy poops writing. Just when uh, Zell comes in and catches them, you, you, tack, you, you tackle him oh, yeah. and then you peg him. Oh my god, with my axe handle? Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Rock is like, we need a new co host. How do you come? <laughs> 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 Oh, you won't get rid of Lo-Fi, you know it. I control your channel, Antoine! <laughs> I control it. You can't get rid of her. You saw what happened yesterday. Let's you know what, once, once, once you have OBS, then you can start trying to debate on whether or not you want to get rid of your most popular villain. Mm-hmm. Fa Bitching Witch says, fanfic between me and Beardy could actually have a plot. No possibility of plot with, with her and Unknown Archive. That is true. Anton changed the key and let's get Miss Misa as the replacement. Well, I'm just gonna start my own show now. I already <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Gem Max says, I'd write a fanfic about Brock is sucking my big black D. But Brock is, has admitted twice he has sucked it, so it's not fiction. <laughs> Oh. My fanfic Lo-Fi is definitely going to get attacked by a vibrating pe penis hogger. Ooh, okay. the the turbo, t the twin turbocharger. Yes, yes, the spider thing. The dick hogging spider monster. <laughs> I love the fact that Brockus is trying to convince Antoine to kick you out of the villains, and then watch. Just watch. Pretty much anybody here, if there's anybody in our audience right now that watches Proper Villains Live, if Lo-Fi isn't on, it's okay. You can come to us. We, Lo-Fi and I will take care of you. Lo-Fi, Ren and I will take care of you. <laughs> Ren does amazing streams on her channel. Uh, Lo-Fi is uh, thinking of starting to do a couple of streams on her channel, and I'm on the con stream uh, often. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brock has been replaced him. He quits. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, quit. <laughs> Don't quit, Brock. The mask can take his eyes off Antoine and Brock. He stares at the smack and goes to town. Antoine and Brock continue. Antoine loves his new vagina. And the ass blood makes the orc first for war. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Fucking beautiful, Trippy Poop. Trippy, I don't care if you're not remembering. If anything, we can re-watch this stream and scroll through the chat later just for this beauty. Because this is fucking glorious, dude. <laughs> just gonna copy that. Okay, we got everything. <laughs> can do. I'm sure mm. Trippy Poop has a copy of this in a document, right? Just, just recopy your comments. Just recopy and paste it in, like... Microsoft Word or something, or, or put it in notes or some bullshit. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Just do it. Do the thing. If if worse comes to worse, I will gladly re-listen to this stream, um, which has di digressed heavily away and from... Um, I can tell I'm from a point. <laughs> I'm going to end you. You can't end Trippy Poop. I'm going to hide in the woods of Can Canada with Bitbarian, and I'll change my name and all that. Why would you change it to Brockus? Hey, Outlaw. Outlaw! <laughs> you can't hide from your shame. I've been enjoying <laughs> Edwin's man vagina. <laughs> that you created with your orc magic. The ass tearing made you thirst for war. <laughs> you can't hide from your love for Antoine. It will haunt you. <laughs> hey, Outlaw. Do you write? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Outlaw Bannock, you want the job. Oh, see, this is the stream where the proper villains ended. Brock is quitting. 
I'm getting replaced. <laughs> Ooh, Sinatra then pulls up with Aiden. Um, scrub and a bucket of spicy tendies for failure. Tonker looks over and asks Sinatra why his stepson's here, and Sinatra tells him that he was supposed to pick him up. Yes. Outlaw, you're right. Perfect. We need more fan fictions. <laughs> Well, actually, he'll change his mind a day later and keep you guys as co-hosts. Antoine exclaims, I'm going to end you, the orc says. Yes, you will! Antoine prepares for his orc sploot as the mask gets closer to climax with Smeggle's mouth. <laughs> 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 and, uh, Brockus, just to let you know, you have no chance with Beardy when, in, in competition when you're in competition with Bitching Witch. Like, she wins. Yes. She has a nicer set of tits and a vagina. I think and the, the key part is really the, the biology. Yeah. Oh, damn it, he's making up as he goes, so I'll have to go through and collect, collect all the things. It's okay. Pick up from school today, and on the way back, a downsy bear jumped in the bed of his <laughs> truck carrying a pineapple. Failure looks over and grabs both the tendies and scrub. And as soon as he finished... Keep going, Bruni. This is gold, too. Am I never allowed to win, even if it's gay? No! You win. You, you win you Zell. Have, yeah, you won Anton's asshole. Why boo me? Why, why Mark? PV is over. I'm good fuckers wildcard. Uh, and as soon as he finished with the tendies, he starts in on Scrub. First going down on his taint before, then railing him in the ass. Scrub. Uh, I don't know, but I guess we must be another YouTuber. Scrub, that's uh, that's uh, the guy who was on Humate who copied, who did the same jokes as me and Brockus, low, uh, low Hawkins and Brock Cosby. He did the exact same jokes like a, a week later or something like that. Mm. Um, Turtle Island is waiting. He's waiting for more. Come on. Come on, Trippy. For having a show at the same time as my bro. Bro code. How am I supposed to know? Okay, this was the open time slot that Schmeckle gave us. This isn't my fault. I can't help it. I apologize. Zell jumps down from the ceiling fan. You can last longer than that nigger, he yells to Brock is. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. See, look, Brockus, you're winning. You're you're getting to top Antoine, and you got yes. to top Zell. Yeah. Therefore, you, the, you win. You're the dominant male in Proper Villains. Mm hmm. He. Uh. <laughs> that one was accurate. He did that to me last night, Brockus said. Oh, <laughs> uh, I can get most of the story. Oh, this it's is gonna be glorious. Yes. yes. It'll it's it'll have to it'll have to be a rewatch of the stream so that the live chat replay. Yeah. yeah. Just to get most <laughs> just to get the rest of it because it is buried. <laughs> Mr. L of 002 says flapjack dick is the alpha male. <laughs> <laughs> Brockus, that's that's what your caucus's new name is, Flapjack. Let's see, um, hashtag Flapjack, the caucus of Brockus. Rocky baby Flapjack. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, bitching witch, you're prob he he probably really does want to uh, top you. Probably. Ooh, another trippy poop. All right. Sell then <laughs> asks Brockus. Room for one more, he says. Brockus nods. Sell enters Anton's torn flappy asshole. Feels pretty good, brother. He tells Brockus. Brockus gently kisses Sell's forehead. Aww. Aww. 
getting romantic. It's so cute. Aww. I mean, I Samaj was story. watching. Samaj was watching with the with the. Oh my God! I've never seen such love like this. And now Zell's coming in, and Brockus is is giving Zell's little forehead a a tender orc kiss. Blood come shit syrup for its flapjacks. Oh, this went dark. <laughs> Oh my god, how is <laughs> this is this is so good. Yes, it is. Like pretty much I'm just waiting I'm just waiting for Trippy Poop's story to finish. Uh or I should I say for Brockus and Zell to finish <laughs> in Trippy Poop's story. And then uh I'm gonna I'm gonna say we should probably stop because we could go. We yeah. could, we could yeah. go we could go all night with this shit. We need <laughs> trip if make the last part perfect then to end on. Yes. Yeah. Aunt Jemima's finest orc syrup. Ew. Then Jim runs into the arenas through a side door to see Chris, uh, with Chris and sees failure destroying Scrub's sphincter and chases him off, giving him to Chris. Then convinces Sinatra to let Angie, Andy hear him, him and Bear. Blah. I swear I can English. Yeah, you go hide with Magog uh, if Magog will even take you. <laughs> You're gonna be a sideshow attraction. He'll fuck you on his show when it's up and running. <laughs> oh, Magog is working on some stuff, so I have faith in him. He's gonna, he's gonna do good. Yeah, he is. Definitely. To let Andy, him, and Bear to have a bukake session with Aiden. Then they take turns running a train on her. Wow. Choo choo! Alright, I have most of the story. It, it, yes. starts, it starts at before Brock is pounds Antoine, but I have most of it. I done at the beginning, so I'll rewatch the beginning. That's alright, that, 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 that'll be fine. I, I want. Oh, Sim here we go. The mask creams on Smeckle's beard and hat, then asks him. How'd you keep the hat on? Smeggle says, a lady never tells. Smeggle then poofs into thin air. Seller Brockus makes their man goo. <laughs> <laughs> what? A weird ass. Magic Smeggle. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bernie, if you could, uh, I would also like for you to be uh, copy and pasting your story so that it's one full story uh oh. and then send send it to ren they yes. finish that they mix their mango as they finish an entrance entire face and chest Ah, <laughs> uh, that's all folks that is all oh my god thank yes. you all so much um thank you ren for no joining us on this, this Not whatever this was, Chat yes. participation participation hour. Yes, but yes, this was this was absolutely glorious. And everybody, you can always check Ren out on her channel, Reading Ren. Uh, well, no, Relations. not Reading Ren. Renelations. I apologize. It's okay. Um, you can always, but she streams. <laughs> um, she Five streams. Days a week. Yes, and. She's got some. She's got some fun shit that she does every once in a while. So feel free to go and check her out. Oh, thank you. And, <laughs> and check us out next week. It's gonna be fun. On a